to Friends of Jesus. Today we talk about what it means to be a friend of Jesus, not a friend of the world, and to fear the Lord. From Psalm 25, the friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. We are friends with the Lord, and we are not to be friends of the world. As James says, you adulterous people, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. And then Jesus says in John 15, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than that someone lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. Jesus calls us his friend. He lays down his life for us. Because we are his friends, we do not want to be friends with this sinful world. And instead, like David said, we want to have the friendship of the Lord and fear him because he has made known his covenant to us through his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. So today, we fear the Lord, and we as friends of Jesus, love one another as he has loved us, and do what he has commanded us. Let us pray. Holy God, mighty Lord, you have granted us great riches and gifts. Keep our hearts from being overburdened by the things of this mortal life whether in time of plenty or in time of want. Deliver us from persecution and sustain us from all tribulation, that our hearts may ever be fixed upon the true treasure of your grace. Accept the tithes and offerings we bring as a part of our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving for all your goodness, Lord, and your mercy. Hear our prayer. And holy God, mighty Lord, your word endures forever. Keep us from being tossed about by every wind of change and chance, and help us to endure upon the firm foundation of your word and sacraments. Prepare us so that we may worthily receive the Lord's body and blood and be kept by this blessed communion toward the day when we shall be reunited with all who have gone before and dwell in your presence forevermore. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In him, with him, and through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, both now and forevermore. Amen. We fear the Lord, and we are friends of Jesus.